legislators, educators, and people working in the tech industry have been leading an effort to provide more computer science opportunities for students in New Mexico. This is an example of a microcontroller. And what's Paige cool Prescott is president of the Computer Science Teachers Association of New Mexico. Her organization in 2017 pushed to get the legislature to pass Senate Bill 134, which allowed for high school students to take CS courses for math or science credit towards graduation. That legislation was later vetoed by Governor Susana Martinez and is now in legal limbo. Prescott says the legislation had major support. We had the business community was there stay, saying that this was important. We had the union saying we support this. We had school districts saying they, they wanted it. Um, primarily because it was not a mandate. It was simply something that was a, a choice. Most students in New Mexico do not have access to a computer science course. The state isn't the only one lacking in computer science options. A 2016 Information Technology and Innovation Foundation report tells the story. It said the last study of high school transcripts in 2009 showed only 19% of high school seniors took some form of computer class, down six percentage points from 2000. The report also showed major gender gaps. Only 14% of female students took a computer course compared to 24% of males. In a Skype interview, Sean Roberts, director of state policy with Code.org, said having foundational knowledge of computers is a 21st century life skill. And when states pass policy to offer computer science as credit, it opens doors to traditionally underrepresented minorities and female students. When it counts toward graduation requirements, you naturally have more students that are able to take that as part of their regular schedule. So you increase diversity of participation with, with those type of policies. Robert says passing computer science standards is also an important part of understanding what computer science is. Uh, computer science is not being a user of technology or being able to use apps, although uh, that's certainly important. And it's not keyboarding, which again is an important skill for students to have, but that's not what we're talking about when we talk about computer science. Sean Roberts says Arkansas has expanded computer science access across the state, and Indiana and Wyoming also have passed bills to expand computer science in grades K-12. through Anthony Owen is director of computer science education in Arkansas. Owen says expanded computer science education beyond high school is also important. We saw that if we only focused on that, that we would continue down the road that, um, that the computer science community uh, seems to have a problem with right now, which is overrepresentation of white and male uh, individuals in not only the classes, but the industry. Owen says Arkansas has dedicated $10 million over the next four years to increasing computer science education. He also says the state has established professional learning hubs to address a shortage of trained computer science educators. Sean Roberts says having CS standards and trained teachers is key to educating students. Uh, we're, look, we're only going to go as far as teachers take us in this. Um, they're the most important and crucial part to expanding computer science education. To prepare for attracting different industries looking for tech-savvy employees, nearby states like Colorado have passed CS funding measures and are working on setting up computer science standards, while Texas requires that all high schools offer computer science education. Jennifer Navarez is with New Mexico TechWorks. Her organization is trying to build a pipeline for education, enterprise, and employment opportunities in New Mexico. I met her in Santa Fe where she told me it's critical for the state to offer more CS education because technology is everywhere. So you'll find it in cars, you'll find it in industrial applications, you'll find tech in healthcare, you'll find tech in tech, software development and um, sy systems that are literally data management, cybersecurity, etc. Matt Brown is Santa Fe's Director of Economic Development. He says a more computer science savvy workforce will help grow companies in the tech sector. Um, and all of them are reliant in some way on different aspects of computer science from from basic programming to, to interface design to AI and, and like computational analysis that has way over my head. So at every kind of level, 
um, that type of uh, knowledge and skills would be incredibly beneficial to to that industry inside of Santa Fe, but then also um, you just think broadly about every industry. In New Mexico, the courts may decide the future of SB 134, the bill allowing CS to count for math or science credit towards graduation. Paige Prescott says it was unfortunate the governor's office did not give a reason why the bill was vetoed, but she has hope. I was told that the lemons uh, the lemonade out of the lemons was that it kept computer science in the news and it kept it kind of people being aware that this is an issue and hopefully it'll grow that awareness. While many students, educators, and the tech industry await the next step, progress continues. School districts, tech learning programs, and dedicated teachers continue to do their part to ensure that some New Mexico students have an opportunity to gain CS skills. For KRWG, I'm Anthony Moreno.